What's going on guys? Zach here from ECC. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions lately about our new Pro R and Turbo R uh, high clearance A-arm kit and kind of just wanted to do a video real quick to show you what you get with the arms, talk a little bit about the arms construction and then uh, why we think it's worth the, worth the money and, and worth the upgrade. So uh, I'll make this short and sweet. This is going to be really informal. Just going to run through the down and dirty on the arms, kind of what you're getting that you don't see on the website or uh, really hear from anybody else that doesn't know that much about them. Um, so all of our arms, all of our lower box A arms start as a grade 50 PNO sheet of steel. Uh, the PNO pickle and oil doesn't really matter as much to you guys. That just means it has no mill scale on it. Keeps everything a lot cleaner here, a lot cleaner cuts, um, and then just uh, cleaner on weld out process and stuff, a lot less grinding, and, and it's just not as dirty. So <clears throat> we do not build our arms out of an, an A36 mild steel or anything like that. Uh, this is a this is an ordered steel. Um, it takes time to get it in. This isn't what you just go and buy off the shelf at your local steel supplier. Grade 50 steel, that's the big takeaway there. Um, <clears throat> our lower for the Pro R and Turbo R is made out of a mixture of 11 gauge and 3 16 uh, The shock mount itself is 3 16 and spans roughly 75% of the arm. Uh, this allows us to more evenly distribute uh, the dynamic load uh, that the lower arm sees throughout the suspension cycle when you're crashing through whoops or you're hitting rocks and stuff like that. Um, we do that because this is a super high clearance arm, it's the highest clearance pro arm on the market currently, uh, and honestly as high as you can go before you start hitting the axle. Um, we knew these would be touching rocks, so we went ahead and did a 45 degree bevel on the front of the arm. This not only uh, adds rigidity to the, uh, to the arm, uh, but it also aids in uh, your approach angle. Uh, it does not necessarily give you any more clearance, but it gives you a better approach angle on the front edge of the arm. So as rocks, as you're coming up on a rock, uh, instead of hitting a flat surface, now it's more likely to hit a 45 degree edge. And, and be ramped under the car instead or the car would be ramped over the over the rock. Uh, we also came back and added a armor plate on the front of the arm, uh, making the front of this arm uh, over a quarter inch thick. So pretty beefy arm, but also fairly light. So really cool, really cool lower arm. We're really proud of this. Put a lot of thought into it, a lot of, lot of changes and, and a lot of versions to get it to where it is now. The upper arm is inch and a half DOM. Uh, we have two variations of this, a 188 wall and a 120 wall. Um, we have found that the 120 wall was plenty. We, we cannot break them. This is uh, uh, plenty strong for 99.9% .9 of the riders out there. Heaven forbid you're able to bend or break one of these. We'll bump you up to a 188, and, but we really just don't see it being a thing. Uh, now, if you're racing, you're running King of the Hammer, something like that, and it is an absolutely no-fail scenario, uh, the 188 costs a little more because we do them in a lot lower quantity. Uh, however, we can get you set up on something like that if, if you want a car that's running a little bit beefier of an upper arm. Uh, but like I said, this arm right here, plenty, plenty. Don't don't take the uh, the fact that that a, that a beefier option exists uh, as a sign that this isn't beefy enough. This is plenty beefy. If you'll notice, one thing we do that our competitors don't do is we added a crossbar between the front and rear tube. Um, on the upper A arm itself. We found in testing that the back arm, uh, like many others that have been running the Pro R and Turbo R at King of the Hammers and stuff for the last couple years have found, <clears throat> the back tube on the upper A arm would bend. Uh, because it already has to have a bend in it to clear the factory tie rod setup or aftermarket tie rod setup, uh, that bend is susceptible to being uh, bent even, or, or to bending even further under uh, high stress loads. So we came in and added a cross tube. Uh, that will prevent that from happening. Like I said, you'll notice a lot of the tubular uppers on the market don't have that. We're able to fit it because of how we design the arms. So that's a, that's a, that's a key takeaway right there. Um, lastly, I just wanna run through real quick what you get with the arms. Uh, this is what 90% of the, the questions consist of. Um, people like the arms, like the look. You know, the price isn't necessarily that big of a deal. They just, they kinda wanna know what all comes with it to verify. Um, and sometimes we might miss putting some on the website or you know clarifying something. So the arms come with all bushings needed. Um, and just to touch on the bushings real quick, these bushings are massive. We went away from the from the four piece, uh, five piece OEM bushing uh, configuration and went back to a a a, a 
tried and true uh, poly bushing setup. These bushings are almost two inches uh, in diameter at the flange. They're the largest bushing you can fit in the car. You cannot fit a larger bushing uh, without modifying the chassis or modifying the bushing. So absolutely massive. They're gonna last you a really long time and we're gonna sell these near cost to keep the uh, maintenance cost of your car down, you know, season after season. So cool, cool feature right there alone. Um, the bushing sleeves that we use are inch and three quarter in diameter. They're also absolutely massive. These are 20, 30% bigger than an OEM bushing sleeve uh, that houses those weird O-ring, you know, uh, washer style bushings. So cool upgrade here, simplicity, strength, um, and then also a high quality poly bushing to keep, keep vibration and, and, and uh, uh, to, to absorb some shock load in the uh, suspension. Next, let's talk about your joints. So your lower arm is using a WSSX 7 uh, uh, 8 joint, uh, pressed into a 4130 chromoly cup. The upper arm is using a 7 8 uh, standard rod end uh, to allow camber adjustability in the suspension after install, which is a huge plus. Camber adjustability allows you, uh, allows you to set a proper alignment on your car. If you're doing a lot of fast and uh, 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 turning trails, you might wanna add or take away camber, you know, depending on how you wanna set your car up. And I think a lot of aftermarket suspension companies for these side-by-sides neglect the, uh, the necessity of, of, of true proper alignment uh, capability. So we added that. It only co cost us a couple bucks more to add it, but the value you get there is, is, is tremendous. Uh, ball joint delete pins. So these kits come with uppers and lowers, meaning you do not have to buy ball joints. These arms come ready to install. They come with all components necessary. Um, these ball joint delete pins uh, are hardened. Uh, they're high quality, made right here in the United States uh, by a reputable company. Um, these allow you to do a couple different things, allow you to pull your suspension apart a lot easier because they have ARP 12 point bolts on the top. Instead of having to, if, and if you've ever taken apart a Pro R suspension, you'll know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> the knuckle, uh, how the knuckle is affixed to the lower A arm is through a taper fit joint. This ball joint delete pin takes the place of that taper fit joint and it is taper fit as well. However, once it is installed in the knuckle, theoretically you never have to take it back out because there is a bolt on the top of the ball joint delete pin. This goes for the upper and lower pin that takes apart uh, or, or allows the, uh, the capture portion of the ball joint delete pin uh, to split in two. So you can literally lift the arm right off of the knuckle. So your delete pin would be affixed in the knuckle. You can lift the arm right off the top of it. Uh, that way you don't have to take the delete pin out of the knuckle and you're not dealing with separating uh, taper fit joints. So big, big advantage right there. Uh, also, I should say the lower ball joint or delete pin, the, uh, the, the threaded portion of the pin is larger uh, diameter than the factory ball joints. So you're getting rid of another failure point right there just by running these pins. And like I said, everything we sell has a lifetime warranty. Heaven forbid you have a problem, give us a call. If it's not self-inflicted, if it was on a trail and you were beating on the car and, and something broke, we're, we're gonna replace it. Last but not least, and this is what I get a question about the most, the shock fork delete. These are the build eyelets that are machined custom for the Pro R front shocks and Turbo R front shocks. Um, literally thread your shock fork off, thread these on, boom, bang, you're good to go. Uh, these uh, get rid of a couple different problems that the Pro R and Turbo R front suspension suspension has, uh, but ultimately it allows us to get uh, the clearance that we're able to get out of these arms. If we did not get rid of the shock fork, we would not be able to get five plus inches of uh, clearance over OEM out of the arm itself. So massive advantage here. Like I said, simplicity. We come from a racing background. Uh, we want to apply uh, those lessons learned racing King of the Hammers and, and other races around the country um, to the products that we develop, whether it be Can-Am or Polaris or custom stuff, one-off stuff. So yeah, guys, thank, thanks a lot for all the support you guys have given to ECC. Um, I know our timelines right now have uh, been pretty back, uh, uh, you know, backed up. Um, we've gotten way more orders than we expected. We're working as fast as we can. Currently, there's about a three and a half, four week lead time on this uh, suspension setup. Um, with trailing arms coming down the pipeline as well right now um yeah it's been uh it's been a wild ride and uh like i said we're we're, we're building a robust system here uh, to get these things pumped out faster and to go ahead and build some inventory up it's just taking some time and it's growing it's growing pains for us and, and you guys have really been eating this product up so 
I want to thank you for that. And uh, if there's any suggestions, comments, concerns, questions, feel free to drop them below in the comments. Uh, I don't, I don't mind if you got something bad to say about them, something good to say about them. I love to hear all the feedback, um, and and we take it all very seriously. If if you guys say something and it's a serious concern, we're going to go address it. So, and we can implement those changes quickly. So yeah, thanks a lot, guys. And like I said, if you if you need anything. Uh, drop it below or shoot me a message or call the shop directly. I'm usually the one that will answer here, uh, if not Kyle. And, uh, yeah, you get an answer. So, appreciate it. Have a good day.